What I wish to explain here are the three types of mechanical one-way clutches, at least that I'm aware of. Okay, we have roller, righty, and of course a one-way clutch is simply it can freewheel one way and it locks or drives the other direction, right? So maybe I've locked it into I'm in I'm in first gear, and I've started off and I'm propelling the you know, the drive shaft, you know, I'm driving the vehicle, and I let off the gas and the vehicle keeps running. Okay, the tail shaft, propeller shaft keeps rolling, but I've let off the gas and now the driving portion of the transmission is turning slower than the vehicle's wheels or drive line. Okay, you've got to have some sort of mechanical one-way clutch typically in a transmission or somewhere in the drivetrain for this very purpose because we'll accelerate and we let off the gas. Acceleration and again letting off the gas. Okay, so that's one of the main purposes of a roller clutch, one-way mechanical clutch. Now, this is a Sprag type of mechanical one-way clutch. Accomplishes the same thing. I'm not sure why the difference, other than it's space, you know, it makes, it makes a much smaller space requirement. Maybe that's the reason why these came along. I'm not sure. But here's a Sprag element. And I'll set it down and maybe you can see how it is shaped. Uh, some folks refer to it as dog bones. And I guess if you look at it close enough, it's got kind of a shape of a milk bone or a dog bone. So they're not, definitely not round, but they are roundish on each end. Okay, so that's the Sprague element. Another type is the diode or one-way clutch. Still a one-way clutch, sorry. The diode type. Okay, and I've kind of cut away the little retaining ring. This one-way clutch is out of a uh, uh, General Motors uh, 6T40, okay? And I'm gonna lift this out and we'll look at these elements. Again, here's one of them. And I've already kind of got it mixed up here, but this is really kind of a delicate uh, piece. As you can see, an element is gonna sit in this little saddle or this little seat, but yet it's able to roller one way, but then lock up the other direction. Again, these, uh, you don't see folks taking these apart because there's so many little intricate pieces. And so I'm gonna set these back in place. I really should have the little springs uh, pocketed. There we go. I'll have those little pockets right there. I guess if I was smart, I'd get some trans gel and put them in place. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and put this down and at least give the idea or the effect of a diode clutch. So those little pieces are going to bounce along until we turn the opposite direction. They'll fall in their pocket. Okay. Oh, there we go. They're all locked. Again, I've already taken it apart. <laughs> it's really delicate, but it's a one-way mechanical clutch. And then, if you let off the gas, for example, to coast, then the drivetrain can can coast the part that needs to. Of course, the driving piece will, will re-engage uh, when I hit the gas. And again, this thing is falling apart already. Um, here are these elements. Okay and these little springs, I mean they're little, that hold it in place, that hold the little elements in their little pocket, okay? So it's sloped and then it dives off, it's sloped and dives off. Okay, that's the diode clutch, the, the, I guess the least common style we see. Again, a Sprague. Now, here's a Sprague application, 4L60E, um, it's inside the hub that's associated with the uh, forward clutch and the one-way, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, overrun clutch. Okay, in fact, this is the overrun clutch, but there's a, there's a, there's a friction one that, that uh, friction and steel set of clutches here on the overrun as well. But again, I can be driving the vehicle and I let off the gas and the drivetrain can keep rolling as it slows down. So this sprag here, okay, I'll go ahead and dig it out. Get the little spring out of the way, little retainer clip, okay, and 
I'll just take this center hub. Yeah, this will be easier side to see. I'll just take this center hub right out. Okay. These little races, I guess, are there to keep the elements organized, right? And uh, here's the spec. And these are replaced quite often on a rebuild for this model of transmission. These do fail. Okay. And when they fail, you normally only have first and second gear forward range. And um, okay, and I can if I just put it straight on; it won't fit. But if I rotate it in such a way that the dog bones will all slant one way, then. fall on. There we go. Put the race back in. Alright, put the snap ring on later. And of course, lastly, the roller clutch. Now this is a, this is a large one, uh, really. Uh, I'm going to rotate it in such a way that I can let's just roll and lift this centerpiece out kind of gently so I don't have the little spring loaded elements flying. Okay, I'm going to take one out. So again, here's a one-way roller. Probably the beefiest design. These, these rollers are pretty stout. Here's a little spring. And if you look at what I'm trying to show here, there's a little pocket that these rollers want to slide down into but the spring is pushing it up the ramp, so to say, so that it locks one direction. I can put this back in. I'll put that element back in place. Again, if I rotate this in such a way that it puts the rollers towards the little pocket, it falls in, and then it locks the other direction, as you can tell. So, there you have it, the three different types of mechanical one-way clutches. Maybe to finish off, here's a diagram. Be it roller around or the diode, the little flat, the you know, little flat pieces like this, um, you can see when we're overrunning these, um, the inner race and the outer race are, uh, I guess, in, one is being held and one's you know, they're one's turning slow compared to the other other race. One's fast, one's slow, or one's being held, one's uh, freewheeling. But when the inner one is driving, it's holding. It's the clutch is said to be holding, and it's driving. Uh, one race is driving the other. But down here, we are overrunning. So, thank you.